Uber is one of the most scandal-ridden courier companies in America. Consequently, Uber's popularity has dropped significantly since the company's founding in 2009. In 2017, a string of scandals emerged, one after another including sexual harassment scandals, workplace issues, and spying on customers. The turbulent year ended with the resignation of the CEO and founder, Travis Kalanick. Although the company is now under new management, those rocky few months still haunt Uber's reputation and stock. Here's a look back at the biggest scandals that have rocked the company over the last decade. In this video, we're going to show you 10 facts that you need to know about Uber. We're Only Brands, the channel dedicated to bringing you awesome, regular content on the world's hottest brands. Let's do this. Number 1. Criminal Drivers Fact: Uber driver Jason Dalton was accused of shooting 8 people and 6 fatally around Kalamazoo, Michigan. Dalton apparently had no criminal history and passed Uber's background checks. His rating as an Uber driver was good, according to its chief security officer, Joe Sullivan. The latest CNN report lists these drivers as hired by Uber, a murder convict who stands accused of raping a passenger, a murder convict on parole, a felon for possession of firearms also accused of attempted smuggling of rocket launchers to the Middle East, attacking his spouse with a crowbar, and attempting to hire a hitman now convicted for committing rape during a rideshare. The company is under fire for failing to institute full background checks, misleading statements about the strength of background checks, and for failing to protect passengers from sexual assault. Number 2. Boober Comment Before the scandals of 2017, Uber CEO Travis Kalanick had already made waves with misogynist comments. During an interview, he jokingly referred to his desirability in women being on demand for him, saying, we call that boober. During his interview, Kalanick made other derogatory comments toward women, but referencing women in this way created quite a stir in the media. When asked about it later, the CEO denied that it happened and refused to apologize. Meanwhile, Uber's branch in Lyon, France debuted a promotion to pair Uber customers with hot chick drivers. After backlash, the promotion was quickly killed and scrubbed from the internet. Number 3. Godview Technology Referred to as Godview Technology by Uber and Creepy Stalker View Technology by many others, Uber had several incidents starting in 2014 of breaching contracts and illegally tracking users' locations. A hire manager infamously accessed the account of an incoming journalist to track her location. Unfortunately, this scandal hasn't quite been settled because Uber still has the technology. Although the company paid a settlement of over $20,000 in 2014, the company isn't monitored closely enough to say whether it's always used properly. Using the same technology and regular account names and numbers, some Uber employees use the tracking systems and personal information to spy on politicians, celebrities, and even personal acquaintances. While this issue wasn't directly the fault of the company itself, Uber's history with holding private information loosely and the company culture surely contributed to the situation. Now the company cracks down on these cases and fires any employees breaching confidence. In April of 2017, another secret was uncovered. Uber executives were using software installed in their drivers' cars to spy on rival rideshare companies. Since the drivers were independent contractors, they can drive for both Lyft, Uber's rival, and Uber. However, Uber used this technology to spy on their rival and push drivers towards Uber. The company was overwhelmed by the number of allegations being thrown at them and didn't fully respond to this one. However, they pulled the plug on the project quietly. By the way, a lot of hard work and care goes into these videos, so if you could help us out and click the subscribe button, we would greatly appreciate it. Number 4. Choking Incident September 2013, a passenger accused an Uber driver of choking her. Washington, D.C. resident Bridget Todd tweeted that a driver grabbed her out of the car by her throat because she was kissing her white husband. The driver said that Todd was extremely intoxicated and had been behaving aggressively when a fight had broken out between them. Valleyweg reported that CEO Travis Kalanick emailed the company's press team at the time, blaming the media for thinking that Uber is somehow liable for these incidents that aren't even real in the first place. Number 5. Caught on Camera 
February 2017, another embarrassing story about Uber. The embattled ride hail company logoed another controversy when Bloomberg News published dash cam video of CEO Travis Kalanick arguing with his own Uber driver over the company's treatment of drivers, prompting a mea culpa from him. The video reportedly taken on the 5th of February showed Kalanick riding in the back seat wedged between two female friends, shimming his shoulders to the strains of Maroon 5. When the ride ended, driver Fwazi Kamel took the opportunity to share a common driver complaint. You're raising the standards and you're dropping the prices. The pair discussed the state of the ride hail market for a few moments before Kamel drove his point home. People are not trusting you anymore, he said. I lost $97,000 because of you. I'm bankrupt because of you. You keep changing every day. Kalanick declined that the prices for Uber's high-end service, Uber Black, had fallen that much, saying, Bullshit. Then he got personal with Kamel. Some people don't like to take responsibility for their own shit, he said. They blame everything in their life on somebody else. Good luck. Then he slammed the door. According to Bloomberg News, Kamel took this opportunity to rate his rider with just a single star. Kalanick eventually apologized for his behavior in the video via email to Uber staff, which the company also published on its blog. To say that I am ashamed is an extreme understatement, he wrote. My job as your leader is to lead, and that starts with behaving in a way that makes us all proud. That's not what I did and it cannot be explained away. It's clear that this video is a reflection of me and the criticism that we've received is a stark reminder that I must fundamentally change as a leader and grow up, he added. This is the first time I've been willing to admit that I need leadership help and I intend to get it. Number six, self-driving failure. The Uber self-driving cars have had several setbacks, causing them to be pulled from the roads. The technology was tested and put on the roads despite numerous warnings and even an accusation and extended lawsuit of intellectual property theft. However, a crash in Arizona caused Uber to pull the automatic cars in 2017. They haven't hit the road since, and Uber has stuck to human drivers. The lawsuit was settled in 2018. Number 7. Sexual Harassment Claims In February of 2017, Susan Fowler was thrown into the public eye after she published a damning blog post exposing the toxic sexism she experienced working as a software engineer at Uber. And in her new memoir, Whistleblower, she explains how she came to shake up one of the world's most valuable startups. Six million people read Fowler's blog post in which she chronicled her time at what was then the number one disruptor in Silicon Valley. In the post titled, Reflecting on One Very, Very Strange Year at Uber, Fowler recounted how she was pestered by her new boss on her first official day at the company. He was in an open relationship, he said, and his girlfriend was having an easy time finding new partners, but he wasn't. Fowler recalled, It was clear that he was trying to get me to have sex with him. Fowler immediately reported the conversation to HR. The manager was let off the hook because he was a high performer. That was just the beginning of the sexism Fowler would face there. Over the course of her year at Uber, she was given negative performance reviews by another boss who wanted to prevent her from being promoted and thus keep her and other women on his team, and was told that she was the common theme in all the reports that she made to HR about sexist comments. In one bizarre incident, 120 male engineers were rewarded with official leather jackets, while the six women engineers were told that the jackets for them were unaffordable. That was an especially juicy fact, right? I think that one definitely deserves a thumbs up. Number 8. Booking Fake Rides Booking fake rides is perhaps one of the most widespread Uber scandals. The earliest days of Uber were tainted by the sabotage of other ride-sharing apps. Uber drivers, employees, and managers would schedule rides on other apps to book them and then cancel them at the last minute. This tactic would cause riders to book with Uber instead. Malpractice such as this caused at least one other ride-share company to go bankrupt, and Uber's only response was years later, referencing the tactics as too aggressive. Number 9. False Advertising Settlement In January of 2017, Uber had to pay a $20 million settlement over their hiring campaign. The campaign had misled potential drivers by making them think they would make much more than was possible. The rates the company published online were much higher than what an average Uber driver could make. Uber apologized and paid the fee, but didn't raise their employees' wages or trip fares for a while after that. New York City Uber employee drivers discovered that their company had been stealing from them. By taking more than its fair share of the fares, Uber had underpaid its drivers all over the city for more than two years. Once the company was exposed, it agreed to pay restitution. The estimated payout per driver was $900. Number 
10. Unsafe Cars August 2017 Reports emerged that Uber knowingly rented cars that were at risk of catching fire to its drivers in Singapore. A Wall Street Journal report stated Uber managers in Singapore were aware of an April 2016 recall on Honda Vezel's SUV, but continued to rent cars to drivers without fixing the defect. Consequently, Honda recalled the car because it could catch on fire. However, it's unclear whether Uber executives in San Francisco or the then CEO, Travis Kalanick, knew of the recall. We appreciate you sticking around and we hope you enjoyed the video, but why stop now? Click these videos for more awesome content.